Welcome back to our kitchen. This is Turnips and Tornadoes. I'm Dan. I'm Joanne. And we have something that we know, but we didn't really have a name for it. True. So what are you going to call it? <laughs> I don't know. We don't know. Uh, maybe you can come up with a better name, but we have uh, we just tossed around some different ideas. Uh, tossed pile up, lively lettuce pile up, lettuce medley, grab bag salad, or soy curls aren't bad. So of those, which did, one? Did you notice the acronym for that? Soy curls aren't bad. That would be scab. <laughs> are we going to call this really scab salad? Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. But we are going to explain what soy curls are and um, I'm going to say well, you look very nice today. Thank you. Um, you look very nice. Thank I've you. been married to you a long time. I didn't realize you were an escaped prisoner. <laughs> But, but it looks good on you. It looks really good. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. That's why we have the blinds closed. I don't want them to find me. Uh, soy curls. So big mystery. And I would say to us, they were pretty new four or five years ago. But mm -hmm. now you're starting to see them uh, when people do recipes and mm -hmm. whatnot on TV and things like that. Mm -hmm. So uh, explain what they are. Well, in this bowl, these are the ones I've already reconstituted. It is soy beans, which are also called edamames, and they take the beans and smash them and form them into these little strips, strips, and then dehydrate them. So they come in a bag. Um, it comes in a bag, and you would think that would be shelf stable for a very long time since it's dehydrated. They're actually not for some reason. Interesting. So as soon as I get them, I throw them in the freezer. Uh, here's what one looks like before. We dehydrated it. Okay. I mean, before we rehydrated it. Yeah, so think of fajita meat, a little strips. Yeah, we use it for fajita meat. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Today we're going to use it for a salad. You, no, you don't want to taste no, it. I know you're it. already thinking that. So you put them in a bowl. You put water, cold or warm, does it matter? I like warm to hot water. Okay. Yeah. And then how long do they soak? Up to 30 minutes, but these were, dehyd were rehydrated in probably 20 minutes okay. or less. So. And it has a meaty like. Uh, texture, which you can you take advantage of that, and you put this in a lot of different things, right? I have several recipes. I, I use it for fajita meat. Mm -hmm. I use it for, uh, we call them soy curl uh, steak strips. Yep. Serve it with mashed potatoes and gravy. Delicious. It does not, it looks to me very much like chicken. It does not taste like chicken, and it does not have the exact texture of chicken, but I like them very much. And this original recipe was, didn't have soy curl. We had this what, 20 years ago, mm -hmm. our, our church would have luncheons and things of that nature. And so uh, generally hamburger meat was yes. what most people And had. that's how we started when we first started making it. And I never was given the recipe, never asked for it. So this is just our own spin compilation, on it. Yeah. our own spin on it. So, so if you're not into the soy curls, fine. Mm -hmm. uh, you could use hamburger meat use or other hamburger. things. You could use chicken too. I think hamburger meat might work better. But Eat whatever you like best. Whatever you do. Yeah. We so recommend gonna, yeah. Uh, your acronym, though. Maybe not the scab. scab. It, which reminds me of a story. We need to get to cooking here. No, but uh, when I was in. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, I worked in television for many years, and we had different spins of uh, storm chasers and what we would call them and how we would present mm -hmm. them. Are they weather watchers? Are they storm chasers? Are they storm spotters and all that? And so a television station I worked with in Oklahoma City, there was a guy there, and he suggested we call them the uh, first alert reporting team. Oh, gosh. <laughs> and so, and uh, we were going to call them the first alert reporting team until somebody did what the acronym was. And then we said, no, Butch, that's not what we're going to call <laughs> the storm chasers. So always wow. work out your acronym. Yeah. All right, so we've got to uh, start not with the soy curls. I guess those are already started, though, right? Uh, well, just reconstitute them is all we've done. So now we're going to do what? The dressing. It's a Catalina dressing. I used to just buy a bottle of Catalina, and one day I thought, I wonder what homemade Catalina dressing's like. So got a recipe, changed it around a little bit, and I like it better than the store-bought. Um, and I like for it to sit a while, so I always make it first, okay. and then move on with the rest of the recipe, okay. let it, let it kind of melt. All right. So, okay, if you want to measure out uh, 
less than a, the original recipe said a half cup of sugar. That seemed a little sweet to me. So between a fourth and a half cup, and okay. that's a half cup that's in there. I've already measured out a half cup of ketchup. It was surprising to me. I should have known ketchup was in this recipe mm -hmm. because it's, you know, reddish, but surprised me for and some Catalina reason. Catalina has maybe a little bit of a ketchup taste. Yeah, it does. So between a quarter and a half cup, can yeah. we just call it three quarters cup? Well, no, that would be that plus half more. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> I did math. You were great in math. That's right. Okay, so just throw that in. All those years of calculus. <laughs> and now use, yeah, use this same thing that I used for the ketchup. Okay. And measure out. We're going to use rice vinegar today. Another good one would be white wine vinegar. I'm out of that right now, so we're going to use this one. And and pretty much a full half cup, except you got to transport, so don't make it so full so that it's hard. So be careful. To, okay. Yeah, yeah. Half cup of white wine. And then vinegar. next, I'm going to add. A, it's a half cup of chopped onion, and you don't have to chop it much because it's going to be blended. I don't like raw onion taste as much, so. I put the onion, I chopped it up some, and I put a tiny bit of water in it, and I just microwave this. I don't need it browned or anything like that. So I microwaved it to make it not quite so assertive of a taste. So I'm going to add how much? that. About a half cup. Okay. About a half cup of it. Very good. And if you love onion, you could go stronger, but in a dressing, it can take over pretty fast. White or red onion, doesn't matter. You know, a red onion would be fine because this is kind of red anyway. Okay. Some recipes you wouldn't want the red onion. Is there a different taste between a white onion and a red onion? I think the red onion is a little sweeter, oh. just a little bit, and it's better for you. The color gives you more vitamins. Okay, and then give us one teaspoon of paprika, regular paprika. Okay. And I'm going to do about a half, it says a half teaspoon. I'm going to do about a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, and that's not how you say it. Um, we're using a plant-based Worcestershire sauce so it doesn't have the anchovies in it. But if you didn't have that. Yeah, use a regular. Did you say one teaspoon or One half? teaspoon. One teaspoon. Okay. Of that. All right. Good deal. Or buy a bottle of Catalina dressing. Absolutely. <laughs> it would be just fine. Happy and I'm that. not saying I would never do it. No. But it, when I have time, I like to do this. Gotcha. Okay. And the... The original recipe I found this said one cup of vegetable or canola oil. That just bothered me to think we would eat a cup of oil. Yep. So I do a half cup, which to me is still a lot. So you can use that same cup. A ketchup cup? Yeah, and do about a half cup, you know, to where you can get it over there. And then I'm going to add a couple tablespoons or so, a little bit more, because there is a lot of oil in dressings. That is true. That is true. And I'm going to add like a couple tablespoons of water to make up for some of that moisture. Very good. Not, it seems like this would be something you could do ahead of time. If you, for sure. uh, you know, had people coming over or whatever oh, yeah. and you want to do this. This is why you did it at church. I think it was so popular at church because you could kind of mm -hmm. pretty much do it and then mix it at the very last yes. and boom. You would leave the dressing off and the chi it, this has tortilla chips in it. You'd leave all that off until right before you're going to serve it. But other than that, you could do it. Okay, so the only other thing is salt and pepper. If you want to grind some pepper in here, okay. I'm going to put probably about a half teaspoon or so of salt. Then we'll blend it and then we'll taste it to see they if win. it win. Let's try it at that and see how it is. So let me check okay. my, I think we've got everything in it. Yes. So I'm going to go ahead and blend. Okay, let's see what it tastes like. It's definitely thick. That's a good thing. And taste. Probably. Well, it's better than what they used to serve us in prison, uh, but it's uh, <laughs> Did strong. you have soy curls in prison? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it's a high it end. It is kind of strong to me, too. Uh, how about some water? Cut it down. I'm going to add a little bit more water. It is, and you got to remember, that's going to be on top of a whole bunch of stuff. So yeah. when you taste of it like this, most all salad dressings are pretty strong. Yeah, well, that was You know, I don't strong. think I will add water okay. because... Yeah, just because. Okay. So we're going to let that sit and kind of melt. So refrigerator, it doesn't matter. You can refrigerate. You're not supposed to put a blender 
pitcher in the refrigerator. Why is that? I don't know, but I just was reading on instructions one day. It said, "Do not keep in the refrigerator." Mm. Now, no longer than we are, you probably could. Mm. I don't. I think they probably don't want you to store something in it for a day or you two. You live on the edge, babe. <laughs> <laughs> so I think we're good on that. I'm in a guest bedroom. Uh, we we have very limited st place to store long range for root vegetables, so we are keeping our onions in here. So we hope no guests see them. So I, I'm using some old, some old but new pantyhose, and I just keep. I've done this a couple of years and it works fantastic. And because it's dark in here, yeah, cool. Yeah, dark and cool. I, I first outside I let them, I let them cure and everything and then I bring them in here and I keep them for several months and honestly with the smell we don't want the, uh, the guests to stay a long time and I and I did it with garlic one year won't do that again <laughs> won't do that <laughs> all right so an interesting way to put up your onions okay I'm ready to go ahead and cook the soy curls I am cooking them in a little bit of broth but you could use water I'm just gonna let some of that water kind of drain off of them that they soaked in. I'm guessing this will probably take about 15 minutes or so. It's not like meat where you wanna make sure and cook it to a certain degrees or anything. We're just kind of browning them all. So, and then, I don't know if we talked about, there's only two places I know of where you can buy soy curls. One is we buy them off Amazon. Also, the company that makes them is called Butler, probably Foods, I think. You can also uh, order them direct from them also. Um, a few years ago, we tried to buy them at Whole Foods and they hadn't even heard of them. Maybe by now they do. That's usually our go-to place for things that are a little bit unusual. Okay, I'm gonna turn the fire up a little bit and I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of broth in here. In a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and add Soy, the Butler Foods also has this little, this uh, flavoring that you can put on it. It's a, they call it chicken-like, I think. <laughs> and, and I'll have Dan insert a picture of that. I, I have that in the freezer. I will, and, and the, if you ever buy that, keep it in the freezer because for some reason, it cakes, it gets caked up really easily. So I kind of like that. That means maybe they didn't put too many anti-caking agents in it and all that. Okay, let me grab something. We're gonna cook this at a pretty good, pretty high. And let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle some of this in it. And I use quite a bit of it. This is a little over a half package of the, of the, uh, of the uh, Butler soy curls. And I'm gonna put quite a bit of, of the flavoring on it. And let's see, we'll come back when it looks, when we're getting close to being done, because I am going to stand here for about 15 minutes and kind of watch it. Okay, we're cutting up. So this is about the only time I buy iceberg lettuce is for this salad, because you want a real sturdy lettuce. Could use romaine probably, but we cut, we cut it off the head with the knife, but then I'm cut, cut, I'm doing it by hand because the knives can make the iceberg lettuce turn. If you, if, and we're going to keep some of the salad turn later. Color? Yeah, I'll turn brown. Really? Yeah, very unappetizing looking. I don't know why, but it's better to tear it. Okay, we saw you do the lettuce. How much was that lettuce? It was about three quarters of a small head of iceberg. Chopped up the tomatoes and I see some beans here. We used red beans, you could use black beans, you could use any kind of beans. My, my favorite is red beans in this. And about how many? Kidney, it's kidney beans, kidney by the way. Kidney beans? Mm -hmm. About how many? Uh, a whole can drained. Looks like about washed and drained. 300 individual beans there, but that's not how we measure it, right? You didn't no, count these one out. can, I did okay. not count. Should I? Uh, no, uh, cucumber? Yep. Okay. 
black olives. We used a whole can of black olives, which is a little excessive, but I like a lot of black olives. You sliced them up, and you told me you want three slices out of each olive. That's what you said. <laughs> you asked how many. I know. I'm really I not know. that picky. Didn't know it was half uh, four. We have red onions, mm -hmm. and we're going to hold off on putting that in until the yeah. end. We have the dressing that you saw us make, the Catalina dressing, and the soy curls. Mm -hmm. so and now the chips. What? So we're going to mix most of it all together now, and we always end up throwing some of this away because every time, what do I say every time I make this? Well, I, I, know, I overestimated I how much I did not it think made, it would make, make this, this much. much. So we're going to actually um, mix it, everything together but those three items and then take some out for lunch today. Okay, okay first? dump all those in. You can help me. I'll help you do it. Okay. All those. You need help getting a... So the only thing that's really cooked is the uh, soy curl. Yeah. This is no sophisticated recipe for sure. Okay. But for some reason, we just really, really like this. I'll always have. I don't know. Do. And it's okay. Everything doesn't have to be difficult. And then here's our soy curls. We put it on a plate just so it would cool off a little bit faster. It's still a tiny bit warm. But we're going to go ahead and mix those together so we can get rid of that warmth before we put in the... Lettuce. You don't want the Oops. warmth because you don't want the lettuce to, to wilt? Correct. Oops. Sophie's in the kitchen. Yeah. Oh, I oh. just tripped on her. <laughs> she stays underfoot all the time. Just in okay. case. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and put the lettuce in. Okay. So we're going to be kind of gentle with it. Oops. Except I just threw it over. All right. And, and you can, whatever. Iceberg. Could you use any other type of lettuce? You want a sturdy lettuce. Like I said, this is about the only time I buy iceberg. Romaine would probably work. I, we want crunch in it. Okay. So that's good. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and just take some out for now. Mm. You want me to do it? Yeah. You want to hold it? That way. And then. You can have some leftovers. We're we'll uh, fix our plates. Yeah. Then we will. Yeah, Maybe that's a good. a taste test of what we think with that. When do the chips go in? Right now. Well, let's put the dressing in first because okay. we don't want the chips too soggy. Okay. So you separate them so you don't want to dress this, right? We so. are going to dress this. Oh, We're okay. not going to dress this. I'm going to save that for you to have another time, okay. like probably tonight for dinner or tomorrow okay. for lunch. Because otherwise we always end up throwing some away. And yes, we could make less, but I don't seem to be able to do that. <laughs> so... And we're, we're, we're pretty, we put quite a bit of dressing in it because then your chips are going to go in. You want to go ahead and get our chips ready. We don't want to squish it up a lot, but a tiny bit. Okay. And these are uh, thin and crispy. Yeah, and I like the, the more, I'd rather not have the crispy, but that's what we have. You want to break them up a little bit? That's okay. We can do it like this. And we're probably not going to use all these. I mean, we'll probably use all these, but we probably don't need those. There we go. And if you have little bits in the bottom, this is a good time to this is a good time to use them up because it doesn't matter. Well, a pretty easy recipe. It really is. It's a lot of prep work. You have yeah. to slice up the yeah. cucumbers and the tomatoes and the onions and olives. True, um, true. Then make the dressing or buy the dressing. Yeah, if you made the dressing, I mean, if you bought the dressing, and then if you're not plant-based, if you just used hamburger, that would be a little easier, although I think soy curls are pretty darn easy. I, I like these. It's been a while since I like we've these had a hamburger, lot. but I really like the soy curls. I really curls. do, they, too. Again, have a meaty uh, texture to them, mm -hmm. and don't be afraid to try new stuff. Mm -hmm. um, it's very cool. And I like, I think the only ingredient in them, I probably need to look, is soybeans or edamame, so that's a very nice clean food. So here's how it looks. So it looks. You want it kind of moist. We're so shall we dip out plates? Yeah, we're gonna plate this up and then we're gonna have lunch. We'll do a little taste testing and let okay. you know what we think. So Sounds good. Join us in the dining room. <laughs> hey, we've plated up the salad and we're gonna give it a, a taste, see what we think. Very good. Something that you can use, again, with the soy curls or with hamburger meat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Try it out. Let me know what you think. Yeah. We'd love to know what you think um, because your feedback very important to us. Feel free to yes. comment. We're also looking for some ideas on some other things to yes. make. Yes. When we get closer to Thanksgiving, Christmas, we'll do some recipes that we've used in our family, our immediate family, for a long time. Some will be plant-based and some will not be. Wow, this is really good. Try good. it out and let me know 
what you think. Thank you for mm -hmm. subscribing, commenting, liking. We, uh, yeah, this little channel is just growing away. Um, going to be retiring soon, and so hopefully we'll have time to maybe do some more stuff in the garden. Somebody said, it's turnips and tornadoes. You never do anything on tornadoes. So maybe, <laughs> maybe we'll do some weather yes, segments yes. as well. This guy is a great... Well, Great you're, meteorologist. You're very kind. I like talking and explaining things that sometimes we don't have time to do in television mm -hmm. because we have three minutes, past, present, future weather, in three minutes. So maybe we'll do some more explaining and also talking to kids uh, and adults. Mm -hmm. That are just petrified of severe mm -hmm. weather. Some that would things be great. to do, yeah, before, during, and severe weather uh, to kind of ease your nerves as well. But uh, I'm liking this. Yeah, it's so, good. Do we have a name for it yet? Did we decide on any name? We'll we'll, we'll put it on the recipe, maybe. <laughs> we'll on the recipe, we'll come with the, up with the name uh, on this. Maybe you have a name for it, but uh, I just call it good. There you go. There you go. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day. We appreciate it and. Uh, you did good. Well, you did too. Even you in my too. prison shirt. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk to you soon. Take care.